in your tummy yeah. or something warm to serve to your guests at the Super Bowl party, our friends at the Cheesecake Factory have a great idea. Uh, yeah, Dustin Sponsel, who is the executive kitchen manager at the Cheesecake Factory, is here to show us how to make skinnylicious white chicken chili. Skinnylicious, I guess, would be the uh, uh, the operative word here, right? Yeah, so skinnylicious is one of our menus we have inside our normal menu at the restaurant that highlights all of our uh, over 50 mouthwatering menu items that are under 590 calories. Okay. They still maintain the rich and decadent flavors that the Cheesecake Factory is known for. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to show you an example of how we managed to okay. do that. This okay. would be a really good Super Bowl sure. idea. Yeah. Oh, everybody likes chili everybody. at the Super yeah. Bowl, right? It's perfect right. for the cold weather. So we've got here in our first pan here, you can see the chicken simmering. This is chicken tenders cut down to about one inch that's seasoned in some of our spices. We've got cumin, salt, pepper, two different kinds of chili spice, oh. yeah, uh, as well as some brown sugar for a little sweetness. That's why it smells like Mexican in here. Right. Absolutely. Spices, the, yeah. the, the cumin too, yeah. yeah. So we brown that chicken and then we're going to add some diced yellow onions about a quarter inch and we're going to allow those to cook until tender. Okay. Now okay. at this point we're going to add roasted and peeled poblano chilies. Oh, okay. Those are a mild green pepper. Doesn't have a lot of spice but does add a little southwestern kick. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we've got some minced garlic as well. And you're going to add that to the pan and allow them just to warm up. Now for demonstration purposes I'm going to go ahead. Once you've got these warmed up you're going to add some butter, just a little bit, not a lot. We are trying to stay skinnylicious. Okay. Right. <laughs> and then we're going to melt that down and add flour. And we're making what's called a roux. It's very ah. popular and common in soup stocks, mm -hmm. jambalaya from yeah, New Orleans. Yeah, it, it, right? Exactly. Yeah. It's going to start the base so that this has a little bit more consistency to it. Okay. Once you've got the roux cooked in and all the flours incorporated into the dish, then we're going to take chicken stock, and you can get this at any local grocery, yeah. and yeah, we're going to go ahead and add that. that to the pan as well. So you add all the chicken stock in there, which gives you that nice chicken flavor. Okay. Then we're going to bring that to a boil and simmer, which is what we've got here on the left. On the left, we've got the finished product that's simmered for about 20, 25 minutes to okay. thicken up. When we get to the end of that, we add some chili garlic paste, close to sriracha, but a little bit thicker. Mm. A little bit of chipotle Tabasco, just a hint. So many flavors. A little more Southwest kick. That's how you maintain the rich flavor. You yeah. just keep layering on things that go well together. So you let that incorporate, and then we've got the white chicken chili ready to go. Very All right. good. Over here is some finished product for you. See, I got my spoon ready. Yep. Yep. We've <laughs> added navy beans, which are white oh, beans, good. and okay. sour cream to that as well. And in the restaurant, we garnish it with our mm. salsa verde and our fresh pico de gallo. That's delicious. Um, which you can see the finished product here in the front. Now, you brought some other skinny licious menu items too. I did. Tell um, us what's I've on got there. our skinny licious grilled turkey burger, which is a house made turkey burger mix that has cremini mushroom mix inside of it, just garlic, shallots, mushrooms, mm. a little bit of cream mixed with ground turkey. Mm. Really delicious with house-made caramelized onions. Okay. Next to that, you'll see our chicken samosas, which are a play on a traditional Indian dish, the samosa. Oh yeah, those are good. Yeah, delicious and under 500 calories, served with our cilantro dipping sauce. And behind that, you've got the seared tuna tataki salad, in case you want uh -huh. something a little bit more filling, but still healthy. Um, you've got sashimi spice, salt and pepper on there, fresh avocado, and our soy ginger sauce. And then in the front, in that right corner, you've got uh, the Skinny Licious Shrimp Summer Rolls. Mm -hmm. So we've got poached shrimp, cool. uh, Vietnamese marinated noodles, and an array of fresh vegetables to add some good texture to it. And but you were just telling me that you're changing the menu now. We and are. Uh, we're going to be adding some new items here in a couple weeks. The first time you can come in and actually get it on the menu is going to be February 21st. But there's about 17 new items that is going mm -hmm. to uh, join, our, join our menu. Now you've got dozens of Skinny Licious I uh, uh, items, and I would imagine that's appealing to people who are with the New Year's resolution resolutions and the like, so uh, yeah. <laughs> are you going to continue to have uh, a, a large selection? That we way? always add to the Skinny Licious menu when we come across a recipe that fits it really well. But once again, they're under 590 calories, they're very filling dishes, and they are a good way that when you eat out, you can still maintain your diet. But you know what? This if you eat the Skinny Licious, then you can have an extra big piece of cheesecake. <laughs> you, that I'm is saying. one way to balance it, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. right. We have the recipe for the white chicken chili on Local12.com. Thank you so much. Oh, thank uh, you for having me. Fun. All right, Dustin, thank you. <laughs>